Hey everybody, welcome back to Infinity Evolve Skyblock. Man, it's been a little bit. I've been having some problems. Um, power supply in my PC went kablooey. And uh, in its frustration with my gaming practices, it also took out my motherboard, two hard drives, and it fried a webcam. Yes! Anyway, um, that's why there's been a delay. There's also been a loss of footage, so what we're going to do today is we're going to take a tour around uh, some things that I've done, and we're going to talk about... Um, what you missed out on. Uh, the very first thing that you missed out on was this monstrosity over here. Um, actually got the materials together and made a wither killer. Um, we had been working uh, when we last left on creating this mob grinder from um, Draconic Evolution. It one-shots uh, creatures. Let's, let's check that guy out in action. I should have grabbed should have grabbed some stuff here, but we're going to do it real quick. Um, here, one, two, three. And then we'll go down below and we'll grab some soul sand. Further below. Getting a little bit of chop today. Not sure what that is, or rather what is causing it, but that's okay. Um, so this is a, a pretty standard setup. Um, what you have is you have a series of, um, block placers surrounded or set up in the pattern of, um, is it firing off? We don't want it firing off. Are you firing off? You are. We're going to stop that. Uh, what you have is a series of block pl placers, rather, um, set up in the pattern to put soul sand out. And then what you want to do is you want to set up some autonomous activators. Now these have to be powered, so I just powered them from the top. I have an energy cell. I'll replace it as needed. And the uh, you just want to make sure they're right-clicking at aim level, and it doesn't really matter. You can put first slot only. Um, if there's only one item, it's only going to put the one item anyway. But when you put in multiple stacks of wither heads, that's where you'll run into the first window only sort of thing so uh at any rate those guys are all set up we've got blocks on the back we've got some red alloy wire running to a timer we're going to go ahead and start that timer off we got some water at the bottom here and that water all funnels from the two corners down into one drop slot over some hoppers and into our bin but what you'll see is the wither spawns he floats down to the bottom and i could have given him a little bit more time but that's okay he's in water Loads and he's dead and just like that we have XP raining from our little killer here let's go fly forward and pick it up okay uh, so we got our XP of course we get nether stars and we have lots of nether stars we even have lots of parts I even went to the trouble of clicking the wrong one I've already gone through and created red and yellow heart canisters uh, the next step is creating the green ones um, Let's go sleep, because we ran out of daytime. And then we'll go on. So that was going to be the next episode, Killing a Wither. And that episode was recorded, and it was lost on the hard drives. That I, I could technically recover if I wanted to spend like $1,200 uh, doing so. That's not happening. So um, Went ahead and set up a little tank here, a series of tanks rather, for liquid XP. You need liquid XP to make primal mana, and uh, so that's what this liquid is right here. Um, you take uh, draconic, draconic ore, rather, and liquid XP, and you make primal mana. Now, to get the liquid XP into the Tinker's Construct, you just have to set up a tank uh, with a servo and some pipe into a smeltery drain. I think this tank will actually feed directly into this, uh, this drain uh, if you plug it in that way. But uh, nonetheless, that's the setup I used. Put in our, our 
two items, got our primal mana, and then we used our primal mana, and that's what we used to craft our wither killer over there. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, another thing I did is I went through and built some more uh, sto power storage. So we've got a total of 50 vibrant capacitors, a total storage of 1.25 billion RF, way more RF than we'll reasonably, reasonably need right now. Uh, upgraded, got an eighth ulti uh, advanced solar cell, so we made the ultimate solar panel. Uh, this guy churns out like 32, almost 33,000 RF per tick. And of course, we've got our three culinary generators. These guys um, put out... Actually, we're are we losing? We're kind of staying steady. Uh, these guys put out another additional 25... Wait, no. How much are you producing? 38. So these guys push out an additional... 13 no i can math they push out an additional like almost 12 uh thousand rf per tick so we're sitting in the 45 ish range uh all said and done we do still have the beef wellington producing so uh, that's going okay we're gonna have to look into some other storage or storage power options going forward um this generator was full this one seems to be holding steady uh, so we're, we're actually at a point where we're not quite producing as much power as I'd like ideally I'd like to have to backlog everything of course that just could be usage also because we've got our little killer going on here in fact we should probably turn our fans back on there we go yep now they're pushing back and those guys will get killed Oh, look, it's a puddle. Yeah, I went through and did some AE. I actually went through and finally finished up the Galgadorian Metal, which let's take a check out on that Galgadorian Metal here. Slowly responding. Uh, this Galgadorian Metal requires uh, Eyes of Galgador, requiring some Fermented Spider Eyes and Magma Cream. I didn't have any slime, or not a lot of it. I had some pink slime, but um, I really wanted just to get some green slime. So I got really lucky, and my fisher had a safari net, a jailer's safari net, I think it was. And in it was a slime, so I grabbed it, used it, set it up in my killer over here, and farmed like 3,000 slime. So we were able to get that Galgadorian metal. Uh crafted so that we could craft our wrench we got our certus quartz wrench and i actually went through and crafted up a bunch of pure fluix crystals pure certus quartz crystals some fluix dust and quartz glass i've also got a charger though i've got eighteen thousand charged certus at the moment so i don't think we're actually anywhere close to needing any um <clears throat> i do have a tendency to automate all of the AE crafting so the first thing I'll automate is actually this little pool of water here um, also went through and crafted up our four inscribers that we're gonna need and uh, and got the plates for each of them so we've got that squared away the inscriber plates um, are pretty nifty the way it has to work is you, you're putting um, iron and an item into an old, a rolling machine well somewhere some way i had lost my original rolling machine so i had to make another one uh but anyway quartz gets you the calculation press um diamond gets you one gold gets you the other and what's the last item oh silicon okay uh so the three items you would use in the or the four items you would use in those presses are what get you uh those presses and um so I went ahead and made an energy acceptor and got this guy set up and did lots of crafting. And uh, yeah, so we're going to actually be able to progress a little bit on that. Uh, the One of the first things I want to do is, is kind of grind out um, a system so that we can start automating processors and everything so that we don't have to sit here and, and fight to get stuff done. 
Um, in fact, we've got some time today. Let's let's start looking at that. So the first thing we're going to need is is those presses. We want to be able to automate them. Uh, so let's see. We're going to want calculation. Let's let's check this guy out. Oh, circuit. That's the name I wanted. All right. Um, circuits. We can use pure Certus, no problem. And then these guys, okay, that just works like normal then. We don't have any kind of silliness going on. Okay, excellent. Oops. Excellent. We're going to borrow some power off of this here Tesseract and use it for some nefarious deeds. First thing I'm going to do is chuck that guy in there. I'm going to go grab some of this silicon and it's a good thing I got silicon on farm uh, I don't have to worry about it oh no I forgot it only takes one at a time uh, let's let's do this we're gonna we're gonna set this up a little sloppy in the hopes that uh, we finalize everything right here are you here yes you are all right we're gonna hook him up with a stack do the work all right this guy um, we're going to go ahead and which which one do we want? We want the calculation. Well, let's check out. Let's check out. Let's kill some mob noises. Good gracious. All right, and we're back. Sorry about that. These guys can't be turned off. Unless. Does that work? I don't want to have to turn down all my sounds. Yeah, that works. Okay, yeah, we're, we're not doing that. We will learn our controls. Get some volume back. Oh, we will also put back hostile creatures. Okay, so we'll set up. Um, we want to do some applied energistics. And the first thing we're going to need is the where are you um we are looking for these guys we're gonna need some cells uh let's see i go straight to 4k because why not that requires calculations and that requires logics so we're gonna need the gold ones also so let's go ahead and get the logic in there and grab a stack of gold come on you Cooperate. Um, all right, so those guys are pressing now. Let's check out. We're also going to need a drive bay. We don't need the controller right away, but we will need it pretty soon. Where are you, drive? <laughs> there you are. Engineering. All right, let's go grab a stack of diamonds. We're going to grab a stack of diamonds. And we're going to do this. And we're going to do that. And we're going to do that. All right, so all, all three of those guys are going. I know we'll need the calculation presses, too. Maybe I should borrow some power from somewhere. Yeah, I'm going to borrow it from here. And grab another hopper. There we go. Let's just go ahead and get them all producing this way. We don't have to worry. Oop. That's going to be a little hard to get to. Let's do it this way. Like that. And here we go. Uh, let's see. We're going to put in a press. We can put in our press. And we're going to need some. I'm going to use some of the pure stuff. Uh, Mostly because I want to make sure that uh, we get the buck, you know, most bang for our buck. So there we go. We're cruising around. Wow, we're almost out of those guys. I'm gonna make another stack. Uh, we're gonna use a ton of them. Let's grab four total. Well, we only need three because we're doing uh, one stack of each. Did I only? Okay, I grabbed three. All right. Okay, so get back in there. Oh, you can't. It's being auto-produced. 
Uh, pay no attention to the stack falling off the edge of the ledge. All right, um, so we've got some presses going on. Let's take a look at what else we need for our... Do I have a spider? Huh. Yep, I have a spider. Where are you? Did you go off the edge, spider? I think you did. Oh, you're up there. Really? How are you up... I'm... There's torches right there. You see the torches. Wow. All right. Moving on. Uh, let's see. We're going to need our drive. So let's check out our drive. We're going to need some iron. We're going to need some glass flux cable. I got a little bit of that right there, but I could certainly make some more. In fact, let's, let's go ahead and make a stack of it. I went through and made a bunch of quartz fiber, too. A little bit of lag. Can we open up our crafting UI? There we go. And bam. Cable for days. Cable for days. We're going to dump some of that off. All right. So we've got... We're going to have two... Oh, we're going to need to be able to press these guys together. Okay. All right. Well, let's make another inscriber then. We're going to need it. Uh, or not a scriber, a press. And I'm having trouble seeing things... There it is, right there. And Scriber. Oh, Overclocker Upgrade. Yeah, this was ugly. Uh, I, I specifically had to set up some crafting just to get that Inscriber Upgrade. I do have the machine frame already. Do I have any more? I do have an upgrade. Uh, what else do I need? Two sticky pistons and a pure Certus Quartz. No problem. Let's get that. Two of you guys. Uh, bring this down. I got some pistons right here. And we're going to need pure. Give me one. And let's just grab a stack of iron. We're going to need it anyway. Let's go ahead and get this guy crafted up. Oh, you jerk. Oh, yeah, because I don't have the sticky pistons either. Let's do that. I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to do this manually anyway, so to heck with it. We're going to do it this way, and our overclocker, and bam, inscriber. All right, now we're going to need to borrow some power. I want to stick this someplace where I can get some use. Uh, can I stick you right here? Yes, I can. Amazing. All right, let's, uh, oh, wow, 48. You're almost done. You are absolutely done. Let's grab some redstone. And let's take a check on our time. Time is going good. We got a few minutes left. I do want to get this drive made first. So let's check out our drive one more time. We need engineering processors. We're going to go and grab some of them guys. Come over here. We're going to do this. One, one, one. You craft up for me. <clears throat> Excuse me. One, one, one. For number two. And that'll get us our drive. Yes. Amazing. All right. Take a squad over here. Oh, not yet. We're going to go... Not that guy. We want the drive. Where are you, drive? You were near the top. You were so close to our hearts, and then you left us. Really? I don't see it again. I'm having moments. I'm having senior moments. Not you. Not you. I could save some time and search, but where's the fun in that? There we go. All right, we got our ME drive. Woot. All right. Uh, we got our energy acceptor already. We are going to... What are we going to do? We're going to do some rearranging. We're going to take this energy cell here. We're going to turn off the bottom of you for now. 
um, because I don't want the IC2 draining that cell needlessly. And we are going to set up our first storage system. It's going to be temporary, but it's going to be ours, and we're going to love it like it's our own forever and ever. Okay, and that's not going to work. We're going to need... Uh, we're going to do this. We're going to do energy acceptor, U, Tesseract. And actually, what I think we're going to do is use our IC2 power to power our AE system so that the machinery can all just drain. Uh, IC2 will be a slow drain. Or not IC2. Uh, the power level off of, of that will be a slow drain. Did I disable it? Okay. Sweet! Alright, now we need to get some cells together. And the first thing we're going to want to do is craft some of these circuits. We want some of these guys. They are... 1k and I want to get enough to get a couple of 4k's together so we're gonna do this and we're gonna grab our gold where are you at and we're gonna grab oh we got our redstone already all right so one two three we're just gonna get one 4k going the other thing we need to look at is a monitor and it never even occurred to me find out how ugly a monitor is going to be. Uh, formation crystals. Okay, that one's easy. We can do that all day. And all, uh, Yep, we can do that all day. Okay, so the one thing I did not do, I did the charge certus, the pure certus, but I did not do the nether quartz. I don't need to, really, because I have tons of actual nether quartz. So we don't need a conversion monitor. We don't need a storage monitor. We need... We need, we don't, do we need a crafting monitor? No, we need, okay, we're going to need a bright, illuminated quartz glass. That, that we can do. Let's, let's set up another one of these guys to do their thing. Let's go ahead and get that made. We're going to need, we're going to need some monitors anyway, so let's grab six. And we'll get over here and get some panels. Uh, you guys, you guys, you guys, you guys. Bam. Oh, jerk alert. I don't have any glowstone. Alright. Let's try that again. Boom. There we go. Six panels should definitely get us where we need to be. Alright, and we're going to need a crafting one. So let's see what we got to do for that. Crafting terminal, we're going to need a calculation press, an ME terminal. So we're going to need each of those cores. Well, I should have cleaned my inventory some, huh? Uh, let's do this. Pull, pull you, and we'll dump off some of the stuff that I don't need right now. Including you, including you, including the blank safari net. Yes. We're going to go with that. We're going to go with that right now. Okay. All right. Um, so let's get a couple more calculation presses going. Um, whoops. We're going to definitely need that. Let's grab these two. Um, all right. So we need, we need a crafting table. We're going to grab some wood here. We're going to use some spruce because why not? Because we have it. Crafting table acquired. Uh, then we're going to need a calculation processor. Well, we got the stuff for that on hand, so we can do that. Nope. Oh, okay. More that. Okay, we got three now. And we're going to need you. Nope. You. Yes. Did I grab yours too? Give me those. Give me all those. Give me all that things. Okay. Uh, and then we're going to need this guy for sure. All right. So we want to grab some Assertus Dust. And we'll grab a stack. And we're going to craft up some of those cores. So we need these the, the cores here. This formation core, we're going to grab that. That's a good number. 
And it's I I I just realized I used all of my other things, so we'll have to grab some more gold. This is kind of tedious, but again, this is going to be the like the first thing, the very first thing that that I go through and automate is the crafting of these cores. And I'll have them stockpiled into barrels so that we don't have to worry about having enough of them <coughs> to do what we got to do. All right, and then we'll go ahead and start another one of these while that goes. Come back over. We're going to craft the other core. We have formation okay so now we're going to want the annihilation core and we're going to want some of you there we go let's try that again annihilation core we're just going to grab one um all right so now we need our modern can we do that we got our terminal and let's go ahead and make our crafting terminal Bang! All right, we are good to go. Here is a little bit of monitor. And just to make sure, yep, we can see into our terminal. We're going to go ahead and have it synchronize our search with NEI so we can look for stuff while we're in our little system. The other thing we got to do now is craft a drive. And let's see here. We're going to craft a 4K crafting cell real quick. So we're going to need three of these guys. These are all gold. So we got one. Two. And then that'll be number three. And then to put it together. Uh, we got all that. Oh, we're, we're going to need a calculation press to put each of those together. So we just need one for the now. I think, oh, we have one for the now. That's okay. Now we got two. And I'm going to start another one as I walk away. All right. So let's get down here. We're going to check out 4K, 1K. We're going to do three of you. And we're going to do one of you. No, we're not. Just kidding. <laughs> Let's grab some quartz. Glass. I don't guess I grabbed enough. And we're going to do try that again. There we go. We got our 4K buddy. And one more time for our 4K storage cell. Yes. Better than chest is absolutely certain. All right. We got our drive in there. We can, uh, we can start dumping things in. Yes. And everything sorts out all pretty. We may actually change the size of our UI to large so that we can see what is in our system. I'm not really big for the large UI, but for playing anyway, but for recording, it's probably easier. So, yeah, we've made a ton of progress today. Um, what I'm going to start doing is thinking about how I want to automate. Uh, this little guy right here. I typically use Steve's carts uh, and Steve's factory manager to automate this and I like that setup and then I need to automate these guys also so that they're constantly crafting. Um, then the next thing I want to do is rearrange our storage solution. Uh, we'll have to actually suspend any crafting that we're doing uh, or at least uh, sieving and whatnot rearrange our storage solution and start utilizing the AE system. Um, some of these things, most of these things, I'd almost like prefer to leave where they are, but it's going to be easier to craft if I transfer everything over to here and just go to a big AE storage array versus using this. Um, plus it'll be easier to auto craft. So, uh, no, we've run a little bit long um, and I've hit some chest. But yeah, I know we've run over a little bit long. I hope you enjoyed the episode. We made a little progress today on AE2. Got to update everybody on the computer. A uh, couple of quick notes. I was accepted uh, to a new Minecraft server uh, for YouTubers um, called iCraft. So hopefully uh, we'll be getting underway with that starting August 1st. That's when the season starts for Season 3 for them. 
So it's going to be a brand new map with a bunch of friends, and uh, I'm really excited, really looking forward to it. Um, on top of that, there's some other things, they have some events and stuff they've got planned that are coming up that hopefully we'll be able to, uh, to become a part of and get into that. And who knows, could open its way up into a lots of collab opportunities. We'll be back with our buddy Dude Plays, uh, so we definitely want to try to get some dirty duo going on again if we can. And uh, yeah, so hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, leave, like, share, subscribe. I'll kill the rain when I sleep. I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.